YouTubers out there, this is Mr. Hamster991, continuing the Tomb Raider Complete LP, and I'm going to start it off with St. Francis Fool. I will give an explanation after this cutscene. I, um, the reason why, uh, here's the explanation, the reason why I couldn't make a YouTube video on Monday was because I got back from California, because I went to Disneyland, it was pretty nice, actually, but I was so tired, because I got home at 6 p.m., it was an eight hour drive from here, from California to here, and the reason why I didn't record a video on Tuesday or yesterday is because it didn't feel like it. <laughs> so first off, this is St. Francis Folly. This might be divided into two or three parts because it's really long. But anyway, um, I, this is an all secret tune, so that might make the uh, level longer. Plus with all the um, Pierre boss fights. Instead of going there first, I'm going to get the first secret. And then this large mid pack that's actually on top. Now, this my this section, Greece, is probably the hardest section because of it has five levels. It might be tied with Lost um, Island. I just didn't want to risk the jump there. It looked pretty big. I might be quiet at some parts because I'm trying to concentrate. Because like after too much co op, it gets harder. The game gets harder, so I might be quiet in some parts. On the past four videos, if you heard like background noises, just ignore them because um, there's some other stuff going on in my room, or not in my room, but basically um, in the living room. So just ignore that the noises. Got it. Basically that secret takes the jump, the secret takes me about like, longer than 10 minutes to get the secret. But anyway, here we are at top. All that's up here is the uh, shotgun shells. And, get them. and a large health pack. What well, sucks about the getting items in this game? Uh, and I just pulled off the sidestep glitch. Anyway, what um really sucks about getting items in this game is you have to be like directly behind it or on top of it. Because like in Tomb Raider 4, you just have to be near it, and she just walk up and get it. But, but that's three games away, which. 
The only games I haven't finished, I probably already said this, but they were Terminator uh, 2, 3, and 4. If you want to pull this lever, it will spawn a gorilla, but it, you need to pull it to open the door. Basically, this lever opens the door that closed and the door that's outside. And now that you pulled both of those levers, you might want, if you took damage, you might want to get a, a health pack to get a better start. Oh god, did I glitch? Once he starts running away after you shot him a few times, he will um, run behind uh, any wall that's in front of him or next to him and just disappear. Now that we're done with that, we can go over here. Since that door has been opened, Basically, you just run this whole thing like this, but you can fail, which is almost I do. You just sight it. Alright, so there's uh, two secrets you can get in this room, but for the second secret, you want to slide down here, um, backwards. And just hold the action button when you get to the end right here. To get the second secret, you want to pull yourself up. And as soon as she falls, hold the jump button, and you can get the second secret. That's not. I'm probably that's only the only way to get the secret. I'm not sure. That's always how I do it. But you don't want to fall down there because there's a third secret you gotta get in the water. Because if you didn't see those water thing, it's right here. And all that's in here is a. Shotgun shell, which is right there. I'm a wait. Did I go the wrong way again? No. Somehow I got that confused. Let's go back up here to get some air. Hmm. All right. Yeah, that's there we go. Stop, stop getting me, alligator. Right, there's a glitch you can do up here on this gate. You can just go right through it. Hold on. See, like that stupid alligator did it. There, I did it. Basically, it just puts you on land. And be careful once you get right here, because you could fall easily. I'm just going to save right here, because if I fall once, I'm going to die. I'm going to give myself a health pack, since the alligator almost killed me. Such a pet. Yeah, but... There's the only bats in this room, this giant room. And then there's gonna be some lions down there. Okay. Alright, what I just opened was the Thor room, and this one opens the Democles room. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I think there's more bats coming to me. And they only take one shot to kill, right? You want to get down here safely. Um, right there, down there somewhere, is the Democles room. Down there, I 
already used the floor room, which I might go to for first. So basically in this room, when you first get in here, there's going to be a giant ball of lightning, which you want to be careful with. Alright, make sure you have full health when you do this too. There, done. Now there's going to be a giant hammer, like the movie Thor. You want to get on here, and then when it goes down, get off of it. And then these two iron blocks will go down. I don't know where they come from though. If you look up before you get that hammer activated, it's really nothing. So. Made it. Yep. The menu, the minimum of health packs you probably have to use in this room is probably one or two. Considering if you're doing a nomad pack run, this might be a challenge for you. Darn it! Fun fact about this music, though, that this is the music that also plays during the final boss, which w is um, Natla. Not like the human Natla, but a different Natla. I guess they're both the same, actually. Now, there's no secret in this room. There's probably no secret in any of the rooms that you open. You want to do a running jump right here and then grab. If you probably fail to do that, you probably die. Here's the first key. You just want to walk over here gently. Just get get down the way you got the. Alright, so before you get over here, I insist you use a med pack if you take them. I'm gonna use it. I don't care. I, I feel safe at normal health. Alright, so I'm gonna probably get down more. What the heck? Yeah, for some reason, Pierre can shoot you through floors. I guess basically, if you either go to the floor room or go to any door, just to mock these down there anyway, he, act, he spawns down with two lions, and he'll it's like a death trap. I insist you save after you do one room. Basically, I only saved up there because I didn't want to die. Um, so I'm a, I want to save right here. And basically it's the end of the video. So if you liked it, please like and subscribe for more. Um, to make videos. This is Mr. Amsterdam991 signing up.